day guys welcome back I'm gonna do a bit of an experiment today uh, I'm gonna do a black resin pour and then I'm going to try some of this deco art extreme sheen on the top um, blow it around a little bit to see what happens because I haven't really done a, a black one yet uh, and then I've also so I'm gonna do two with the extreme sheen and two I think with this model master um, enamel paint it's for like um, model cars things like that so that's what I'm going to do have a bit of a play and I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do um, maybe I'll do different ones I might actually do four different ones I might do two with pigment paste and then two with mica powder. I, I don't know. I'm just going to have a play. So I'm going to get started because I really don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'll just see how I go as I go. Now, one of them, I'm going to put some black mica powder in. Mm. I'm only doing two though. I don't need much, do I? I don't know. I'm trying to change my mind as I'm going. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Um, all right, let's do two with mica powder. And I'm going to do a spoonful. A spoonful for two. And then some resin. Now my resin today is the Barnes Clarity. It's a two to one. So I've got 100 grams of one of them. And 220 grams of the other one. Because I know that that's what it needs. Because I've measured them before in... Um, you know, in a measuring cup, but I had it on a scale at the same time, which was pretty clever, I thought. So I knew how much um, 100 mils was in grams, and I knew how much 200 mils was in the other one, because 200 mils was weighed more. Because you know how one's thicker than the other? It's also heavier. It, it doesn't actually weigh the same. All right, now that's that looks pretty... Not just, actually, I'm going to do a couple of drops of alcohol ink as well. I've got the Piñata alcohol ink. This one is the Black Pigment Powder by Artie Sue. So I'll give that a really good shake. Shake, 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 shake. And let's do three drops. One, two, three. Okay, now we'll put them aside because I've used them. So with two of them... I'm just going to use the powder and then the other two I'll use the um, pigment paste. So let's go around the edge. Oh, my new molds. Oh, I've got to tell you about my new molds. These are just El Cheapos from um, AliExpress, but I ordered them six weeks ago back in middle of May. So it's the beginning of July now. Six weeks they've taken, and I know everything's you know really slow at the moment, but still six weeks. So they're just they're just cheapies, you know. They've you can see on the bottom they they're not they've got marks and I don't know. Yeah, they're not they're not totally smooth, but what can you do? You know, pay peanuts, you get monkeys. All right, so just a little bit of black around the edge. Now I'm going to fill them up with clear and just let them do their thing. So for these four molds, I hope that wasn't too much, these four molds I've used um, 300 grams, actually 320 to be exact. So it's just made my little puddle go over the black a little bit and I'm going to torch them and then I'm just going to let them sit and, and wait and see what happens. Hopefully they will react and then I'll decide what I want to do with the middle of them, whether I want to put some, um, maybe put some silver, I haven't done black and silver. 
I did black and gold a little while back. Oh, I'm not sure how these are gonna go with the heat, these cheap molds. That'll do for now. And there's a bit of fluff in there already. Doesn't take long, does it? Have a little bit of fluff or something. my little baby wipe. You can wipe up your edges with your little baby wipes. They're very handy to have. So that's starting to all come in already. Even though I only did a little bit of black, it's all moving in already. Actually, I might use, might use that same cup and uh, we'll put some pigment paste in it. I don't see why we can't. So that one might need a little bit more because it's going to be quite a a solid black these two quite a solid black these is what's this this is um, dynamic pigment paste by solid solutions and I won't double dip I'm just gonna put a little blob like that in hopefully that's enough been told off for double dipping my sticks. <laughs> I'm still learning, you guys. <laughs> People say to me, don't put your stick back in the mica powder after you've put it in the resin. You'll ruin it. Okay. Thanks, I know now. <laughs> All these things that you learn. Oh, I must tell you something else too. You know how I had that rash on my wrist? Um, I worked out what it was. I was so worried that I was going to be allergic to resin and that I would have to sell everything and never do resin again. But I think I worked out what it was. Um, when, um, when I was sanding my coasters, actually I'm only going to have enough for one here. It's just going to be plain black this one. Uh, when I was sanding my coasters, um, I didn't realize that resin dust could be harmful like I knew not to touch wet resin like that's just common sense isn't it but <clears throat> I didn't know that um, I'm just gonna do the same with this one as I did with the other one a little bit of that um, so yeah I was dusting away you know I had my um, my mask on and my goggles and and all that but then when I finished um, Sanding, I had this like dust on my arms and I just kind of brushed it off and thought, oh, well, you know, it's just dust. Um, but I, it didn't really occur to me until later that night when I started itching and getting a red rash that it was from the dust. So, yeah. So, thank goodness I'm not allergic to resin. <laughs> so, if you are um, sanding, guys... Make sure that you um, wear long sleeves. I've now got some a long sleeved apron. It's got elastic on the arms, and I, I put my gloves on, and then I put that on. It's tight around there. Um, and then when I finished, because I was sanding this morning, and then when I finished, I got baby wipes um, with soaked in in alcohol, isopropyl, and then I wiped down my neck because I couldn't get, you know, I was getting sort of dust on my neck and my face. I couldn't just be in a bubble. So I just wiped my neck and my face down and um, hopefully hopefully that'll be all right. Now look at these. That's moved in really pretty, hasn't it? Let me torch again. So I like that effect. I may not do much more to that. I may just put a little bit of, um, I don't know, silver, maybe a little bit of, of silver flakes in it. We'll see, Let's see what it does. And then I can paint the edges with silver because I haven't actually done black and silver. But because it's black, you're going to have to make sure you get all those bubbles, hey? It's going to show. The little bubbles all going to show up. Now, I don't want to blow it with my, you know, the embossing tool that's got wind and it. It'll actually blow all that pretty design away. And I don't want that. So I'm not going to use that. I just have to be careful with my torch okay so here's my black hopefully oh, is that enough I don't know that I have enough might need a little bit more so 
So I'll put one um, extreme sheen on and the other one I'll put the model master on and just see what happens, hey? I'm keen to see. What I'd really like to do is kind of get some gold lacing happening. I have no idea where to start really, so have a bit of a play, a play around with it today and see if I can get some lacing. It probably won't happen. Oops. All right, bubbles. So how many people that have been doing acrylic pouring are having a little try with resin, hey? Eh? Sure is fun. It costs a bit of money to set it up, but it's like any new um, hobby, you know, sport. You have to buy your equipment. I think I'm running out of butane here. It's taking a while. Okay, I'm going to just go over and torch a few times as the bubbles come up. Hardly got any flame at all there, really. It's a tiny little flame, which is good not going to be too hot right now let's put um let's do some actually this one hasn't got as much in it i'm gonna have to just make up a touch more i want them both to be the same uh, i won't double dip i'll just pour there we go pour in wipe my bottle this one hasn't got quite as much resin in it, that's all. Now, how are these two over here going? They're looking pretty, aren't they? Wow. It makes such a pretty effect. The mica powders. When I was doing a, a clear top coat the other day, um, I was scraping the inside of my cups to pour out and it was leaving like this kind of a wavy look, like a white kind of a wavy look on the top. And I thought, oh, what's that? So I'm not sure. Maybe it's um, like you're taking the wax off the inside of the cup and it's going on. I'm not sure. It was a bit, bit odd. Kind of ruined my top coat. Because I'm making my own mould at the moment, and while I'm trying to. Trying to anyway, so um, I had to have a very, very smooth top. And when I did this um, flood coat, not only did it have this kind of wavy look in it, when, I, when it was dry and I could feel it, it was actually raised. So it wasn't, um, yeah, it wasn't smooth. So then I had to put another top coat on. All right, let's do this. I think they're both quite equal now. We'll put a little bit, I don't need very much. We'll put a little bit of that in there. And this is upside down because there's not much left of it. It's just sitting there. The um, Deco Art Extreme Sheen, it's been sitting upside down, so hopefully I can get some out. It's a lovely shiny paint. I'll leave it upside down again in case I need more, but I haven't put very much in. It's just a little blob there. Because you can't go over 10%, hey? So when I do my um, acrylic pouring, my swipes, I use this gold and it gives me gorgeous um, cells, pearls lacing all that kind of stuff so i thought i wonder what kind of effect i can get still quite translucent so i wonder what kind of effect i can get on this so i'm going to sort of pour some on and then i'm going to have a play with my um, embossing tool and kind of blow it around a little bit i uh, probably should have moved them away never mind um right let's just Put a little blob on. Maybe I'll just sort of do that for now. Oh, it's going to sink. So as I said, just just plain today. Now I'm just going to use this embossing tool that I've got and um, kind of blow it around a little bit and see what happens.
interesting to see like if it was going to stay on top um, or whether it would sink because when you use gold like gold glitters gold mark powders things like that they always want to sink as far as I've well the ones I've tried have always sunk so let's just push that around a little bit Some will go in, some will stay, some, you know, some might sink, some might stay on the top, but hopefully, hopefully some will stay on the top. Don't want to put too much on, just pretty little effect. Don't want it to blow next door into the one that I've don't want it to move around much. Okay, so that's that one. Um, didn't create any lacing or cells, but oh, I don't know what that. No, there's nothing there. Um, but it's just given a little, a little bit of a, a gloss happening there. I'm just going to torch again. So yeah, it'll, we'll see what happens with this, whether it sinks. Hopefully, hopefully it'll stay on top. I'm running out of butane okay so that was that one uh, didn't do very much at all really now let's try the model master still trying to decide what to do with these guys because we've got such a beautiful beautiful little pattern there that um, I don't particularly want to destroy it but I think it needs something, just a little something, doesn't it? I'll try and keep my workspace clean. All right, so this is it here. I'll give it a good shake. Don't mind that, actually. I think with the gold edge, that would look quite stunning. Now, I don't know if you can see. Can you see how there's like a little white, little white... Oh, okay. It's kind of a skin there. Maybe I've torched it too much. Let's get rid of it. Might have done. Um, I could probably blow this one. Which I better get a riddle on because my resin's going to start setting up, isn't it? It's going to start setting up. So let's get going quickly I'm half tempted just to leave those look at that it's such a pretty gold it's much thinner it's very very thin it, it's just like water it's got a beautiful shimmer though it's a different kind of a gold color like this is a much more yellow this one's um, I guess it's more of a more of a coppery tone maybe I wonder what that one's going to do. We'll do the same thing with it. Just sort of spread it out a little bit and then give it a bit of a blow and see what happens. It's, oh, look at that. It's sinking much more. It's sinking straight away. bit left on top a little bit of a sparkle it might actually work better if the resin's almost set actually might leave that and come back to it um, now what will we do with these guys here um, how about a little bit of silver leaf I think that should look nice where's my silver leaf um, oh yeah it's over here might get some of that just put a little bit of the silver leaf in uh, silver flakes. 
be careful because it's really messy. So that's most of it, I guess, is sunk. Oh, I don't know if I want to do anything with that. What else could I do with that, though? Because, like, if you put glitter in, it just all sinks to the bottom. I'm going to move this over here away from everything because you get little flyaway bits. Um, put some resin in there. Hopefully it's not setting up yet. I've got someone walking on my roof. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. My roof was um, leaking. Just going to put a few silver flakes in here. All right, I'll do it over here. I've just got to be careful I don't drop flakes into where I don't want flakes to be because they kind of fly away. Just going to put a few in. Okay, you want to go in, do you? you? You can't really pick them up with your fingers. They just stick to you. Actually, what you can do is maybe put a little bit of resin on like that and then you can pick it up. That works. All right, let's just move that out of the way. I don't want too much. I'm just going to stir it up and break it up a little bit. It's probably way too much actually for two tiny coasters. Oh, something just flew in. Wow, I really like the effects I'm getting with these. With these paints. Oops, oh, we're starting to set up, guys. Oh my gosh, no, 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 we're starting to set up. No, all right, I'm going to have to leave it. I'm going to put a little bit of silver in and that'll be it. Because we're starting to, starting to go thick. I have to break this up. I'm just going to put a little bit in. Thing I like about the um, the silver flake is it kind of floats it's sort of suspended and if you do end up with a clear center like that that's really pretty okay um, and another cup I don't want to pour clear from this cup so I'm going to just put a little bit in there and then I can pinch it and then I need to pour the clear over the top of that Here, just to um, sort of disperse that silver a little bit, just ever so gently, ever, ever so gently, just a tiny bit, okay, like that, and that just pushes the silver out a little bit, I'm sure the black will come back in again, but it will just give us that ever so slight little clear centre. I could probably do with putting a little bit more resin in these. Fill them up just a touch more because they're not up to the top yet. And then I get to do silver edging on the sides. See how they just kind of break up and sort of float away. Hopefully I will end up with a little bit of a clear center and it won't all run back. Okay, I still need to fill these up actually, so I'm gonna put some more clear in. And then we'll have to get back to these two over here and see what's going on with them. So once you've kind of put things in the middle, the the black tends to run back over the top, hey? Yeah, I'll try and keep a little bit of silver in the middle. There's a big clump there, so I'm just going to try and kind of break that up a little bit with my stick. I'm not boring you, am I? It's probably another long video, but I wanted to try the I wanted to try these and I thought well if I don't video it then you'll go how did you do that <laughs> so I thought I better video it but I'm just going to take my time with the videos like I'm not going to try and rush them um, if you don't want to watch the long videos that you know you can fast forward because 
you know, I'm, I'm learning. This is for me. It's for you as well, but it's for me. Put some more in there. Might as well use it all up. So I'm just going to take my time, do my thing, and try and enjoy it. Because sometimes, you know, when I do these videos, I feel as if I have to rush. Because, you know, I'm still getting people that are going, oh, you take too long. And I thought, just, you know, I'm just going to do my own thing. I'm going to enjoy it. It's my hobby. Um, and those that want to watch the whole thing by all means can and then those that want to fast forward by all means can as well so I think that pretty much I don't want to really add too much more put a tiny little bit in the middle and then I think we're going to be Danskis so it looks as if Looks as if the um, the black is going to take over and go over the top, which is fine. But hopefully we'll still have that little bit of transparency. Just filling that up. Every time I've pushed the um, clear in, it moves all my silver to the side. And then I'm going to put more in. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's pretty much all the... I can't get any more off that. It's pretty much all the silver gone now. Look, all my silver's moved now. I haven't got any left in the middle. Alright, so that's that. Now let's move back on to these other two. I'll just put my lid on my silver leaf in here. Um, and ooh, which stick was I using? This one. Let's put a little bit more of this gold on. I'm just going to put it all on. See, it's very thin and it is sinking but I'm going to blow it around and see if I can get some to float back up to the top because where it is sitting on top it's really quite pretty that there All right, let's get my little heat tool I'm just going to blow that as well and that look like if I mixed that gold into the black. Okay, so I'm just giving it a really good little mix around there and um, see what happens. So some of it's coming to the top. I'll put a little bit more of this on anyway just to just along the edges there and give that a bit of a blow so it looks as if they both want to kind of float and come up to the top Oops, I've gone right, blown right off, blown over the edges here. This is the thing I don't like about using those embossing tools because they've, they blow everything around. Just going to clean that off. And I've still got some clear, so I think what I'll do is I'm just going to pour some clear into the middle of these just to, why not, because I've got it and um, I want to sort of fill these two up a little bit. And they can just have a little bit of a clear center. So see how easy it is just to wipe around with your baby wipe. Clean off your edges. Whoops, don't stick the edge of your baby wipe into it. It defeats the purpose. Okay, I think that's about 
about it. Right, um, that's my clear. So yeah, I don't like pouring the clear straight from this into my moulds. I prefer to use the little paper cup then I can pinch it and I've got a little bit more control over it than having this big cup. Now this one is mounding or doming. This one isn't quite there yet so I'll put a little bit more in you. I'm going to put another little silver leaf in there. Because now I've whoa, all right, you want to go in, do you? Yeah, you can go in. It's very sticky. Yeah, the best way to pick it up is just touch it with your, your resin stick. <laughs> I found I'll clean that up later. The bits are flying out everywhere. Right. Tiniest little bit of resin just to Moisten that a little bit. Yeah, this one just needs a little bit more clear. It's not quite as full as the other one yet. And that'll just help that silver stay in the middle a bit. Looks like they're going to be nice and um, transparent. Translucent, not transparent. Transparent, we can see through totally, hey, like glass. Translucent has just got a little shimmer. You can sort of still see a little bit through when you hold it up to the light. Okay, now I'm just going to fill these up. Let's just pour some clear in the middle and just fill them up. Not really expecting much from these two, but it was an experiment. I wanted to, I wanted to try it. So these four have taken the 300 grams and I pretty much don't have anything left. Pretty good, big, pretty big coasters. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. Everything's empty. Everything is empty. All done. Right. Well, that was a fun little experiment. Let me just clean up some of my cups here. Um, I'm just going to throw those away. And now I'm going to need a baby wipe just to clean my gloves off. I'm going to come over here and do it away from my, my resin. Actually, quite like that one. When you see, when you look across it, um, you can really see that sparkle. This one, not, this one, I'm not impressed with. But this one, it looks as if you, it's had molten gold poured over the top of it. It's really pretty. Let's clean up my mess here. After I've wiped my hands, I just go around and <laughs> pick up any little resins that I've spilt. Okay, now I've done that. I can clean my Sorry, I'm just going to clean up as I go, otherwise it dries and then I'm you know, in a world of hurt. I'm just going to clean my hands again then I can, and then I can take you down for a close-up. All right, so was that all right? It wasn't too long. I'm sorry if it was. I'm going to give the last little torch. Well, I think I'm running out of butane. Now I can see that some of these silver flakes kind of um, poking through the top. Oh, no, I'm running out of butane. Right, oh, let me get you down for a close up. If you're still with me, that is. Oh, whoops, over the top of the <laughs> tripod, sorry. Okay. Go this way. Can't really can't 
really really see all that well but you can see how you can see through the um through that into the pink below so that is going to be quite translucent and look at the silver I probably put a little bit too much silver in I got carried away I didn't want so much I only wanted a little bit in the center but it's it's kind of spread out because I kept on adding more clear and more clear and more clear so um yeah <laughs> but never mind I think they're going to look pretty anyway and then I'll I'll paint those with um a silver pen and then there's that gold doing its thing it kind of sat on top but it's not yeah it's not really doing much and then that's the um extreme sheen sitting on top as well I was hoping for some lacing or something but no I'll have to keep practicing on that I just want to see if I can pick up the I know the lights there in the way but mm, look at the shimmer 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 not really okay I'll leave it there hope you enjoyed that a little bit of experimenting from me today it's very dark isn't it I'll bring you down to this one all right so um join me well it'll be a minute for you 30 seconds for me it'll be tomorrow I'll do the unmolding all right see you then hey guys I'm back it's the next day now these really don't look very interesting at the moment do they because they just look black so this is the first one that had the extreme sheen paint in it it's pretty sparkly let's get him out good test for these new little molds that I've got come out pretty easily I've got my glove on so that I don't get fingerprints all over so because I used the black paste um, you know there's no there's no transparency it was a really opaque black just black on the other side <laughs> nothing terribly exciting there so I'll pop him out of the way this one it's got a really pretty sparkle it's kind of like a galaxy that was that model master gold I think I may might pursue this one because I like I like just how it's got the little sprinkle looks I don't like how it's got the stripies but I like those little sprinkly looks so I may pursue that again in another mold in another coaster pour I should say but let's get him out so again not really expecting anything on the other side because it was so opaque but you know it's it's still pretty especially if you put some gold around the edge I'm, I'm not going to it was just a little test I'm not going to waste paint on on these two I just wanted to have a play now these two are looking really amazing look at that you can see through so I'm impressed with this one you know how I kept adding the clear and adding the clear and it pushed the silver flakes out to the edges so hopefully it will look really pretty <laughs> it's difficult doing this with the glove on the gloves a bit big for me oh. but look oh look at that look at the beautiful transparency oh so pretty now I don't know I'll just move that one out of the way I don't know that you can see the silver I mean you can see that it's silver but a lot of the silver flakes or gold leaves have kind of you know sunk under the black the blacks pushed over the top of them but it's really pretty beautiful and smooth because I filled them up right to the top I don't have that um, lip at the back because they they domed so if you fill your, your molds up nice and high you don't get that so this is that's the back let's have a look at the front okay so the front of this you can see how the silver spread right almost to the edges with the back we've got a much more dense black outline and the silver's staying in the middle but look at the sparkle oh it's so pretty you can see the the silver leaf as well so I don't know which side you would want to use that Maybe you'd want to go 
um, that side or, or the other side. I don't know. Let's have a look at the other one. I'm assuming it's going to be very similar. Let's put that on autofocus again. There we go. Love it. Love the transparency of it. Look at that. So when it's just down on the table, I guess it would just look, you know, black. But um, <clears throat> then when it's lifted up to the light, you get that beautiful transparency and you get the little shimmer of the, the silver leaf. Same as the other one on the, on the back. Sort of more of a a lighter black around the outside and it's got the darker black there. I wonder if that's the difference between the mica powder there and the ink there. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. But again, really, really, really sparkly. Look at that. You can see the leaf, the silver leaf. Am I going too fast? I might be going too fast. <laughs> so yeah, really happy with these. Pretty I've only got two, hey. <laughs> Maybe I can make another two and I'm going to have a set <clears throat> or I could do another four and then I can have a set of six. I like doing a set of six of things. And see, there's no lip, nothing to sand. So there we go. I love these two. All right, um, I'm going to go and put some silver on them around the edges and then um, I'll show you the finished product soon. Hey guys, I'm just getting set up. Now, I thought I would show you the new silver that I'm going to try for this coaster, for the edge of the coaster. It is that one, Humbrol Enamel. It's a little tiny tin. Let's see if I can pick this up without getting it all over me. It's called, oops, it's metallic. See how shiny it is? Metallic uh, 191. It's chrome. So it's really shiny chrome color. And because my uh, Krylon silver leafing pen is now empty, instead of throwing it away, I'm going to dip this in the paint and it'll be a nice little paintbrush for me. So I'll just dip it on there and, oops, off we go. So I'll just do a little bit, but look at that. It's nice coverage, it's got a gorgeous shine. It's an enamel paint, so the only thing that'll get it off, get it off if you you know paint on something you're not supposed to if you go onto the top and you're not supposed to is a nail polish remover acetone so and it's really easy just to paint your sides this new mold's got quite a lot of little wobbly edges so it's going to take a, bit, a little time but I'm not going to do the whole thing now just going to do a little bit and then I'll show you how I do my tops. Um, I've shown you in other videos, but in case you've missed them, I'll show you again. So pretty much work out which side is going to be the top and which side is going to be the bottom. For me, that's the top there. So I'll just do from where I've done the edges. Dip that in again and put your pen nib half on the coaster and half off. That way you're just going to do a little thin line over the top of the coaster. I don't like them too thick. That's my personal choice. You know, if you wanted to, I guess you could do the whole nib thickness, but I just like just that little edge like that. That's what I prefer to do. So just half on, half off, go slowly, follow the curve. 
It's got a little point there, so the nib kind of fits over that little point quite nicely. And you go round and round. So the gold leafing pen by Krylon, in Australia they're about $26, $27. Um, and they hold 10 mils of paint. This little tin that I got from a toy store, because it's for, um, um, <clears throat> you know, like model cars, model planes, that sort of thing. It's I think it was about $6 and it holds... 14 mils so it holds more paint and it's way cheaper um, the coverage I think is better I had trouble with the the Krylon silver um, the gold Krylon pen worked really nicely but the silver just didn't seem to have as good a coverage maybe I had a faulty pen or maybe it's just the silver doesn't cover as well I'm not sure exactly Look, I'm nearly finished. A little bit more to do. And there it is. We are done. Look at that. Whoops, I just put my fingers in it. I just slipped. So I'll have to touch that little bit up there. But that's, that's what it looks like with the edges done. Um, tomorrow morning I'll go out into the sunshine and um, you know I'll do a nice photo for you show you what they look like in the sun because at the moment it's dark and I've got overhead lights on in the studio so I haven't got a very good shot but that's that's the look that you get with this silver I should show you the actual silver <laughs> there we go <clears throat> pretty pretty all right um, I'll get set up tomorrow and I'll show you the finished product See you then!